Hello Libra, welcome to my channel Frankie's Tarot. My name is Frankie and this is your tarot reading for the next seven days or so. Going to take a look at what's manifesting for you in love especially, but if general stuff shows up, you know I always like to give a heads up. We'll take a look at who's coming towards you, what spirit wants you to know, and I will look at each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces, to see what to expect or any actions if there is any from each zodiac. All right, let's take a look at my Libras for the next seven days or so. Let's pull in Libra energy. Let's get some good messages for my Libras. What's manifesting for my Libras? What is manifesting for my Libras? Let's see. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, whatever you resonate with. And again, only take what resonates. Always claim the good stuff. Always claim it. Why not? We have the five of wands. Let's see. Five of wands isn't, you know, five of wands can be tension. Breathe through it if it is tension. If you do feel like you're, you know, heated a little bit or frustrated. But the five of wands can also be, you know, it's time to take action. It's time to go. It's time to fight for something. If it's yours it's your, and you know it's it's you want it, sometimes it is time to fight for it, you know, and not give up. So we'll see how that plays out. We have the hermit card for you. Staying on your path. So I'm pulling out some energies right now just to see what's coming up for my Libras. And we have the four of swords. All right, so the five of wands being the energy here. And look, we have the seven of pentacles as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. So we are seeing patience and planning. We are seeing reflection, the hermit card, taking a look at where am I going for, from here? You know, the five of wands, like I said, can be do I do I throw in the, the, the towel or do I fight for this? You've come so far with the Seven of Pentacles, and now there's a time of reflection here with that Hermit card and the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is giving me this energy of Libra. Just try and relax for a second and ask yourself, you know, do you really want to give up on something that you've worked so hard for? Maybe you do. Maybe you're thinking a new direction, right? And that's always a possibility. So this could be the energy that you're in. And... The Four of Swords says, give yourself a little bit of a reset, and especially we just went through that full moon, and do a little self-reflection, and then maybe not, maybe decide, maybe you're being shown a new way, a new way to go about things. All right, so I'm getting more of a don't give up now. You want to fight for something. You want to fight for this, but you may want to look at other approaches. And so I just got that card in my head. Take a sideways approach, maybe an unconventional approach. Maybe look at things from a different perspective. Maybe the universe is trying to show you this is meant for you, but how hard will you work for it? Or I need you to slow down because I'm trying to show you another way to get it, right? So what's coming towards you? We have the Page of Swords. And we always like the pages. They bring good news. The Nine of Swords, which was in reverse. So it's... I see a clearing of your mind. I see less stress in the days to come. Receiving some sort of news that could relieve your stress. Maybe some of you are waiting on some news um, and you're finally like it's been delayed because sometimes the page of swords can be delayed news. And it's like, come on, I'm waiting. I sent an email. Where the hell are you? Why haven't you reached out? I'm stressing. Every doubt I have in the book is coming up. And then next thing you know, boom. Oh, sorry, I was gone on vacation. You know, it's uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. You know, maybe they're they're on vacation, right? Or they are doing something else. And maybe they just didn't get the email. Maybe they're out of the office, right? We're seeing that. Don't stress too much about that. You will receive the messages. Um, the page of swords sometimes, especially with love can be when we're constantly worrying what somebody's up to, what are they doing, what are they thinking, and the Nine of Swords in reverse is saying, no bueno, no bueno, don't be doing this, all right? Especially if you're into the laws of the universe and manifesting, and you understand manifesting an SP, for many of you that come to my channel, I know you do, I know you, you practice these techniques, 
when you're worrying too much about what somebody else is doing, that's going against the laws of assumption. You've got to assume the best, assume things, assume you already know that they what they're thinking about you. All right. So either way, you are receiving some sort of communication. So this is about calming your mind, giving yourself a little step back, doing some self-reflection and not letting yourself get overwhelmed. We have the Ace of Pentacles showing up for you. So we do see some luck and money coming in. All right. For those of you interested in hearing about your money, your career, a move. Um, the good news can be around a job, uh, around security, around a gift of a luck of money, um, a fresh start. Could be some of you waiting for that uh, um, acceptance somewhere, acceptance letter or raise or, you know, things like that. Right. The Ace of Pentacles. This is your opportunity is coming in. There's a new doorway opening up for you. And with love, the same thing. The Ace of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards to get when it comes to love. It says this doorway is opening. You guys have the opportunity to have a fresh start. But with new beginnings, there always has to be an ending of something. So the Nine of Swords being in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles is saying to walk through this doorway, to have this fresh start, we've got to leave the past behind and let go of any limiting beliefs or any regrets, any guilt, any any stories that we might be telling ourselves or any trust issues and things like that from the past. Walk into this like the full energy. You know that anything that you went through in the past, you are, you already been through it. So you've experienced it. So you know how to deal with it if it were to happen again. We can't go through life trying to protect ourselves from everything that could go wrong. We'll be living in a bubble. So this is going to be about you stepping through this doorway, this fresh start that's coming in for you. The Ace of Pentacles for me is, and the, and the Seven of Pentacles too is is saying, stay. It's just a refocus. It's like you might be kind of stuck in a moment, right? But the Ace and add that the Eight of Pentacles says that your hard work, your focus, your determination is a return of investment coming in. All right, so you're moving, you're moving forward. The Ace of Pentacles is my new moon in Taurus that we had um, recently. It was kept coming up for us during that period. And I kept saying, set your intentions. What are your intentions? Can you remember a month ago what, I mean, a couple weeks ago, what your intentions were that you set? The new beginnings from a new moon unfold over the next couple weeks, right, after the new moon. And then it does stem for the next six months or so, right, and continuously. But the Ace of Pentacles showing up for you is a reminder that something that you set your intention for, something that you wanted, something big that you wanted to come in is coming in for you. All right. So with that being said, you have the hanged man here, too, which is saying breathe. And you have the three, a couple of three of cups underneath that um, showing, you know, you've got to shift your perspective, focus on, you know, the positive. And we see that things are moving in, in a really good direction for you. So let me pull a card for you regarding, um, I just love this Oracle deck I just got. And then we'll go right into Aries through Pisces love. And with love, we do see, hey, somebody's got their eye on you, somebody that you've been waiting to talk to, somebody wants to talk to you, somebody wants to communicate with you, um, somebody you've been waiting for messages, and the Ace of Tentacles can show a fresh start. So I'll take a look at, with each Zodiac, the energy that they're in, their actions uh, towards you, if any, and how they view you. The alchemy of poison. You got the number 22, holding space for love, too, as well. And the number nine. So transformational lessons, reclaiming your personal choice. Radical forgiveness, the alchemy of poison, 22. Um, so this could be, too, that you've gone through some major transformational lesson in your life. And this is all about you reclaiming your own personal choices. It's about you knowing the choices that you made to get to this far and acceptance. All right. And the four swords is also meditation and reflection and healing, healing from any past um, situations that you may have seen yourself in. Like when I was talking about the nine of swords, letting that stuff go. This is about past is the past let's learn from our lessons and let's move forward so that is what spirit wants you to know and non-judgment self-acceptance right here holding space for love for those of you um, needing to release that nine of swords energy hold space for yourself love yourself and 
Don't judge yourself. All right. Let's see love for you, Aries through Pisces. And, you know, that's what I hear with the Nine of Swords. It's like, oh, why did I say that? Oh, why did I do that? Why did I react? Why did I get pissed off? Why didn't I Why didn't I wear this instead of that? Maybe I should have did this instead of that. You know, maybe I should have acted a certain way. Maybe this, maybe that. Those are the nine. Those are the swords, the energies. Those are the doubts. Those are the regrets. That's the, you know, oh, my God, I wish I should have been or shaming ourselves. And, you know, and that is the lesson here, the nine of swords, you know. Letting that stuff go so you can move forward. Aries through Pisces. So show me Aries. Three of Wands. The Ace of Cups. The Emperor card. Chill. All right. Have some confidence when it comes to an Aries. Seems like an Aries is right on the horizon. If you're waiting for a, a message or maybe there's a new Aries coming into your life, You've got an Aries here. You might be in a waiting period. Relax, meditate, keep calling your person in. You've got messages of love and offer coming in from an Aries. And your mind is seriously on an Aries with the Emperor card. They will take action to you. Taurus, Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Be flexible with the Taurus. You will be making plans. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the opportunities here for you to do things differently. Um, the Seven of Cups shows that they have you on their mind. They're thinking that sometimes a Taurus, you know, needs a little bit more time to think. Don't try to argue, force it, push it, just kind of relax, you know, with that energy that came up. And we see the Two of Pentacles. You will be making plans here. You're manifesting plans in the future. Just take your time. Gemini, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Open up your heart a little bit to a Gemini. Seems like they want to be more than just friends. They're coming in with an offer. There's a lot of passion and chemistry there with the Gemini. Seems like this could happen pretty fast. It seems very spontaneous and very passionate with the Gemini. Cancer, the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles. And the Moon card in reverse. So it seems as though you're having some sort of realization about a Cancer. All right, you're feeling more confident about cancer. All right, it, there could be a rebirth with a cancer, or you could be completely letting go of a cancer energy. All right, there's some sort of understanding or something coming to light that is it's bringing some sort of closure or success with you when it comes to a cancer. Leo, the King of Swords, the Sun card. And the five of swords. So Leo isn't happy. They know they said something wrong or did something to you. Uh, there's a lot of regret. You may have felt, you know, uh, lied to. Um, maybe this is a no-win situation. Maybe you both were fighting to, to win. Both of you were trying to win or arguing. You just can't seem to find common ground. Seems as though you've got a Leo here really thinking about what was said or done. And stay positive about this. Um, maybe you guys projected negative energies onto one another, but you will reconcile. A Virgo, three of swords. Virgo's upset, disappointed. Um, the queen of cups really got their feelings hurt. They look at you as the devil energy. Um, you know, there may have been a third party situation on one of your sides. Maybe uh, there's, a, there's a third party in the middle here. Feelings were hurt. It was definitely the cheat and the devil card is on your side. Maybe you feel cheated. It could go either way, right? When it comes to these, I don't like to trigger you. You could be flip-flop. But it does seem as though there was some pain, some heartbreak. Feelings were hurt. And it could be about letting go of any regret or past decisions. And if you want a fresh start with your Virgo, are you able to um, release the past? Libra, strength card, the six of cups, the king of pentacles. You've got your mind maybe on an earth energy. I don't know, but this is you showing slow and steady. All right, you will win the race. Six of cups, you and a Libra, another Libra, definitely have the same feelings for each other. There's a lot of love here. Stay strong. This is your energy, that strength card, all right? Be, be proud, be confident, be strong. You've come a long way. Six of cups, it shows reconciliation or, you know, just turning over a new leaf. There could even be a new Libra coming into your life too. Remember that. 
Scorpio, Seven of Wands, the Magician card, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so there may be an offer coming in from a Scorpio. Scorpio seems to have their guards up a little bit. It seems like they have closed off a little bit. Um, it's there's it has nothing to do with you uh the magician card in the middle there's a lot of attraction between the two of you and there seems to be so much potential between the two of you i've got you as the page of pentacles maybe moving in a little bit slower getting to know trying to understand uh maybe there's a compromise or maybe you make the offer towards a scorpio sagittarius ten of cups the temperance card and the knight of swords you may want things to go super fast with sagittarius you may be losing patience don't lose focus you've got good news coming in with sag but it, you gotta allow it to unfold naturally they definitely want to be together with you um i don't know if they're in a relationship for some of you that maybe it's not the right time but you are pulling them in um, if they're not in a relationship, it's brand new Sag. They do want to be together with you, and there's an offer coming in. But the Temperance card is saying you need patience, balance your emotions. You know, take time. St you know, stay calm. The Knight of Swords is like you might want things to go faster and um, faster than it is going. Capricorn Nine Nine of Swords. So you got a Capricorn with the Nine of Swords showing up. The Two of Cups though, and you the Nine of Cups. Stay focused on your Capricorn. Release uh, any limiting beliefs around a Capricorn. The Two of Cups is here. It seems as though you both um, have mutual feelings for each other, deep love for each other. And the Nine of Swords, they may be the one that feels a little bit regretful in, in this. Can you forgive them? Aquarius, Two of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Six of Swords. So it looks like Aquarius is getting ready to make a decision, take a leap. It looks like they're leveling up, but they are scared of shit. Of commitment uh six of swords can show you guys moving on to calmer waters here they will make a decision uh for some of you if they don't make it quick enough it looks like you might move on pisces the seven of swords the knight of pentacles and the chariot card pisces isn't maybe you feel like things aren't moving as quick as you want with the pisces but the sky's the limit here seems as though they have trust issues or they feel like they can't trust you or you can't trust them or there's just a trust, not trust in relationships, which is they're very cautious with that Knight of Pentacles energy. The Chariot card may say to you, stay focused. If you really want this with a Pisces, it seems like it's moving in the right direction. Like I said, just might not be moving as fast as you want to, but it will pick up pace with that Chariot card in the future. Um, or you might move on. You might say, I'm, I'm done with this. The Star card is saying, do not lose faith or hope in your connections. Your wish is my command. Your wish is granted. Um, what you desire desires you, who you desire. All right, so stay focused. And, um, you know, for some of you, the five of wands, like I said in the beginning, is this worth fighting for? Um, you know, and if it is, fight for it. It's yours, the star card. But if it's not worth fighting for with that seven of pentacles, why waste your time? Right, it's time to move on. You saw that in, in, in some of them. So I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Happy, um, I was going to say full moon and Sag that we just went through, but we already, we already went through that. I don't know why I was going to say that, but I'll see you soon.